everybody. Happy Sunday. This is Shannon Graham Cornell from Better Home Organizing and I'm coming to you today via screen share. So one of the things that I've learned about doing Facebook Live um, from trial and error with you all is that you can't show your own video and then switch to showing uh, a screen share. So I decided that for today uh, I wanted to go with screen share and I so I this is my substitute for showing me on video um, but the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you and talk to you about my closet wardrobe system that uh, I love and um, but the reason that I'm doing a screen share rather than giving you a tour a live tour is that the closet is not very big and so uh, in order to get the various pictures that I'm going to show you I had to stand in strange configurations and uh, I just figured that it was it would be a lot easier to show you pictures of the, the wardrobe system than uh, to try to do it live so that's why we're we're doing it this way but I did want to share this with you because this it, it's a another IKEA product and it's called the PAX Wardrobe System, P-A-X, and it's phenomenal. Uh, and so I wanted to share this with you. We are we do have a walk-in closet in our in our home here, but it's not huge. Uh, it's it's L-shaped, so you'll see as we're looking at um, at the the various components of this system, you'll get kind of a sense of the layout. But it's just really difficult to, to give you the full layout, but just to kind of imagine uh, an L-shaped closet where the bottom part of the L is a little bit thicker, but not, um, not uh, a whole lot, um, uh, a, a whole lot of space you know, on that, that bottom part of the L. So you're not probably going to get a full sense of the, the layout of the closet with the various pictures I'm showing, but I'll do my best to describe to you what we're going to see. So I'm actually starting here with a picture of the wardrobe system empty uh, as it is dis was displayed on the IKEA site. And of course, when the uh, this live video uh, uh, goes um, uh, as a post on Facebook, I will add both the buying guide and the link to this system on the IKEA site uh, so that you can take a look but essentially what you do is you buy the cabinet itself. So, you know, this outer component, and this is actually showing a corner. I wanted to get you to get the sense of the depth as well as width. They come in varying widths um, and um, uh, you can, uh, but you, you buy the cabinet first and then you buy the components that you want to fill out the cabinets. And I'll show you how we did ours based on the kinds of clothing we needed to store in there, but you can do all kinds of stuff on here. You can get this cabinet and then, um, you know, fill it with drawers, with shelves, with hanging rods, with shoe organizers, with different kinds of pull-out trays, and you can get it with doors, without doors. If you want doors, they can be um, solid, they can be glass, they could be sliding doors. There's just a whole bunch of different configurations for, for this closet system. It's, it's really, really cool. Um, so uh, at this point now, I'll show you what, what ours looks like. So uh, as I said, the closet is kind of L-shaped. So I'm st actually standing, I have the door closed behind me. You can see the door here reflected in the mirror. But up to the left here, we have two cabinets that are wide enough to accommodate double doors. So we did glass door fronts and we chose these really cool uh, chrome handles that run from the top of the door to the bottom. So we have, it's two cabinets, uh, here, one here and then one uh, over here with a double door situation. So this is, this is the, the upright part of the L I was describing to you. Behind me, 
when I'm taking this picture, by the way, is um, the, the cabinets that we have on, on the bottom part of the L, but you'll see that in just a second. So um, this is the configuration we chose. We wanted to have the, the glass front. We liked that look, uh, particularly because this was gonna be a combination of Michael's stuff and my stuff. We wanted to be able to see what was in there before we, you know, started opening doors. Um, plus, there's, as you can see, you know, there's a wall here, so you don't have a whole lot of room to work. I think that our ca um, uh, closet was probably the bare minimum you could use if you wanted to put doors on, uh, you know, on on the these uh, on these cabinets. I wanted to take a picture. So this is the same cabinet that we were just looking at, but I wanted to show you the height of these. So this, uh, the cabinet is exactly uh, tall enough to clear the fluorescent light at the top of the, the, the room here. In fact, we were able to build one of these cabinets out in the master bedroom and then from and and slide it in from that point on we had to build these cabinets in the closet themselves so we were actually working vertically to build the cabinets you i you need two people to do that it was it was an interesting uh, exercise but i just wanted to show you um i also wanted to show you kind of what the rest of the, the handle looked like but i just wanted to show you the height um of of the cabinets here all right, so now I'm starting to open some doors. So this was the, the first cabinet that was to our left when we were looking at that, the expanse of cabinets. So this is where we put all of our heavy stuff. So this is where we did sweatshirts. So Michael's sweatshirts are here. He's got suits here. And then my sweat, you know, like uh, hoodies and sweatshirts are here uh, on, on the right-hand side. So we, we knew that we needed um, space to hang, hang material like this. And so we opted to use the top part of this cabinet for that, that material. The space below, we wanted to use for some drawer storage. So we've got some sweaters and some um, uh, bo both uh, pullover sweaters as well as more cardigan type sweaters that don't do well hanging. Um, so we put, you know, those in these drawers, we've got space for jeans, space for vacation, swimsuits and hats and shorts and stuff there. And then, uh, the, uh, the bottom is a pullout tray for my shoes. So here's one of the drawers pulled out. So this is one of the drawers that has the sweaters that don't hang well. Um, again, solid fronts are an option, glass fronts. You can you can do mesh uh, instead of the, the the drawers like this. Quite a number of options. Here's the pullout tray for shoes. So and I have two additional pairs of tennis shoes that actually live by our front door uh, on our actually on our way out to the garage. They live on our shoe rack there. Um, but that is the sum total of my shoe collection, ladies. So yeah. <laughs> Can you tell I'm not a shoe person? Okay, uh, moving on, this is the next cabinet down. So we looked at the first double cabinet, now we're looking at the second double cabinet. So this is where I have my nicer work things. So dresses, uh, things I wear to like first client meetings or networking things or classes I'm attending. So I have my, um, my items organized by tank tops, short sleeve, long sleeve, and then dresses here in the back. And down below, I've got casual t-shirts. When I work with a client, I'm usually dressed in um, uh, just uh, plain t-shirts, um, not, not ones that have college logos and beer logos on them, but ones that are just plain, plain t-shirts. So I have those hanging there. And then I've got uh, work pants and jeans hanging next, next to that. I do wanna point out something, by the way. Notice on the far right here, there is my um, a, a purse hanging there. By the way, I have other purses stored inside that, that larger one, so I'm doing a, the bag within bag approach here. But th they make um, really cool hangers that you can use to hang your purses. 
Um, but I just want to point out, I just have my purse hanging over a regular old hanger. I, I don't see the need to buy something that is a single use item for hanging purses when hanging your purse over the, or just a regular hanger works just fine. Um, okay, so now I've actually turned around. So now that you see the light switch here, this is actually the, the light switch that's next to the door we saw in the background in the last picture I showed you. So this is the cabinet that is at um, the, the base of the, the L-shaped closet. So this is um, mostly Michael's side. But again, we've got a dub, another double door situation here, plus a single door. So this little little nook over here is not wasn't big enough to do two doubles. So we did a double and a single. So this is the first. The, this is the single. So up above, we've got Michael's um, casual shirt. So this is a combination of t-shirts and polos. But down below, we got a. Um, a pants hanger uh, that it pulls out. It's really nice and, and um, stores his, his pants there, his work pants. He stores his jeans in one of the drawers uh, that I showed you just a minute ago on the other side. But this is really, this is a really cool feature. And again, these components you buy based on the type of clothing that you're wanting to, to put in here. Uh, and you can always swap them out. So again, I know I've talked to you guys before about having things that are adjustable um, and you know the ability to swap stuff out. I highly recommend that. This again has that same capability. So I would just need to go back to Ikea and if I wanted to turn this into a series of, of um, shelves, for example, we could pull the, the pants hanger out and put in a series of shelves instead really nice flexibility. So this is the um, the double uh, door cabinet that is was next to the one we were just looking at. And this is where we've got his work shirts. And then we have two uh, pull out tie racks that are here. So um, I've got a picture here of one of the tie racks pulled out. So these are really, really handy. Um, particularly for, you know, being able to, the way he's got, I'm going to actually go back for a second, the way he's got his shirts, and these aren't all his shirts, we, this is, um, I have not done laundry recently, or we haven't done laundry recently for his shirts, he usually has more than this in here, but you get the, the gist of it, he's got his whites, grays, blacks, and red ties over here, coordinating with these shirts on this side and the greens, blues, you can't see the greens here, I, the, the picture cuts it off, but uh, the other, you know, the blues and the purples on this side, uh, coordinating with the shirts on the right. So we originally started with one tie rack, but he had enough ties that we were having to double and triple up and the ties are slippery enough that they started to fall off. So we decided to just get a, a second tie rack to add to the right side. And that way he could spread his ties out. And, um, and he does usually have more ties than this, but um, he's uh, taken some of them to have for a just-in-case meeting at work. So he's storing some ties at work right now. So usually it's full, it's a little fuller than this, but uh, this, this, uh, this is what it looks like as of today anyway. And then again, a close-up of the, the pull-out rack. So this is, these are great for belts, ties. You could use them for scarves. Um, if you had, um, it's obviously wouldn't work for a lot of jewelry, but if you've got costume jewelry and you've got like big chunky pieces, you could do a bunch of these racks, you know, and, and kind of all the way down the side of the cabinet. You could use it for, you know, for that kind of thing as well. Hats, um, all, all kinds of things like that. I did want to point out, so one of the, the Facebook Lives I did a while ago, I was talking about um, clothing that is either off season or doesn't fit anymore, but is super special so that if I ever get back down to the weight where I can wear uh, these the outfits, I've got them stored. These um, scub containers, so these are Ikea containers, and it's called, these are called scub, S-K-U-B-B, -B, and they fit perfectly in uh, this little top shelf area. So we did this on purpose so we could do things like store 
uh, stuff we use when we're traveling. We could put off season things up here. We can use it for um, uh, clothing that is more memorabilia as opposed to clothing that you know we are actively wearing. So we, when we originally did this, we, we actually made a, a switch. You can see there's two tubs here. When we originally designed this closet and set it up, we actually had, they do make a, a scub container that is as wide and as deep as this, um, as this wardrobe. However, this is way above your head and it was really unwieldy to pull out something that large over your head. These are, there, there is structure to them. There's a little bit of, of, you know, heft to them, but they are, um, they're still a little floppy. So um, th this is like a, a vinyl kind of material. Um, again, there's structure to it. So it's, it, it, it does keep its shape, but it's not like a solid bottom. Um, and so, you know, pulling stuff out that's this wide, this is, I forget how wide these cabinets are. They might be 39 inches, something like that. So it's a little unwieldy. So we rethought how we wanted to organize it. And we actually went with two smaller uh, scub containers side by side. And that works perfectly. They're, they're much easier to get out. Uh, much less um, clumsy than the the larger the larger ones. And then the last thing I want to show you in the closet is, and this is a down below um, the the in the same cabinet we were just looking at. This is, and this is also scub, uh, but this is their laundry sorter, and this is our solution for. Uh, dealing with laundry. So rather than having a regular laundry basket or a single laundry basket, we actually have four of these scub containers. And you can see how nicely they fit in this wardrobe. This makes me so happy. But um, the, the way we divvied this up is we've got, you know, this one container here is for like socks and underwear. Another one is for um, you know, t-shirts, sweatpants, pajama pants, that kind of stuff. Um, we've got one that's specifically for Michael's dress shirts, and then we have one for delicates. So um, when we get undressed in the evening, we sort our clothes into the appropriate category. And it's basically like these first two get washed on normal uh, washed and dried on normal, the normal setting. This one gets washed and dried on permanent press, and this one gets washed and dried on delicate. So we can appropriately file away our clothes as we're getting undressed at the end of the day, rather than having to sort a big pile of laundry when it's laundry day, which I hated doing. I absolutely hated sorting laundry. So um, this makes it so much easier and it's nice, it's contained, you know, it's uh, the, the lids close, it's a Velcro closure. It's, a, it's um, vinyl, but it's wrapped over um, a metal frame. So it's nice and sturdy. You can pull this out, take it to the laundry room, uh, which is just a few feet down from our bedroom and it's fantastic. So this is, um, and it's, and the way that this is situated and part of the reason we put it here in this cabinet was this cabinet is when you walk into the door, into the closet, um, into, uh, sorry, when you walk through the closet door, this setup is right to your right. So it's the first thing that you hit when you get into the closet. So it's, um, it, it it's a, that's a game changer. All right, so that is it. I just uh, wanted to give you a tour of this closet system, which is a very, very favorite of mine. So I hope maybe you got some ideas from, from looking at that. Again, you know, I, I'll post the link to the buying guide and to the closet system um, designer uh, where you can configure your closet based on uh, the the types of clothing you need to store again what we did was we went through when we first moved into the house the closet had the typical wire system uh, that you know builders usually put in a master closet so you know it had a couple of a, a couple of shelves and a couple of rods and we pulled all that out and we figured out you know what are the types of, of clothes we need to store so we knew we had 
you know, heavier uh, sweatshirt type material. We, we wanted to put, we didn't want to have a laundry basket out in our bedroom. We wanted to have that in the closet. You know, we knew that we needed um, uh, hanging space for work clothes, casual clothes. We needed folding, uh, folding space. So we just basically worked through our categories of clothing and figured out how is it we wanted to store it. Did we want to store it on, in a drawer? Did we want to store it hanging up? Did we want to store it in a, in a, in a scub bin um, and, and designed it that way? So again, the nice thing is we bought the, we, we knew what combination of wardrobes would fit into the space and then we outfitted the interior of those cabinets with whatever the, the components were that we needed. So it was a great project other than the fact that I, um, other than the fact that I, uh, um, sorry, my phone rang. I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I hope that this was helpful and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for the last of the daily Facebook Live events. And uh, again, I'm going to be doing my wrap up on April 1st since, the, um, uh, since Facebook broke on me uh, during the course of this project. So uh, I will be doing a wrap up talking about lessons learned, recapping some of the things that we talked about during our time together here. So have a great rest of your Sunday, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, all.